two brave running four fifteen one two ratings in the first. The market sees at Caparina at ten, Brave Running twenty-four, Fire at Will sixteen, Islander four seventy, Shepherd's Lill at six dollars and forty cents. Over the page, we have Canny Lady at 11, 13, Beat the Tide, Columnist Star, 53, $33, Constant Opera, 480, for Moranti, for Larry Cassidy, and Opera Fair is at 27. $58, Amanda Warra, No Mirage at 53, and Sequoia at $9.10. Opening event, Banala, totes are now official on 11, 7, and 5, 35, Nati, the Quinella, Trifecta, paid $395. They're heading to the gates for the next event race number one at the Sunshine Coast. Let's take a break here on Sky Racing. Be back with more shortly. late mail in the opening event at Canberra. We haven't given you much time to get on, but uh, there are his tips as we have another look over the page. 960 Canny Lady and 520 Moranti. That's the field for the opening event at Canberra, a maiden over 1400 metres. Let's have a look at the update banana as they move in well at Canberra. In the market, 920 Artemis, Sparmaid Rules at 4 even, Beechwood Forest 860. Quick look over the page, it does see. In this maiden over 1400 metres, Mishnikoff at 490, 410 Osby Ridge and 890 for Rip Trees. Moving in well, Canberra, race number one on the program. Let's go trackside. Here's Tony Campbell. Thanks, Nadia. Welcome to Canberra. Thank you, Mark. Welcome to Canberra. This is the first of eight here on Qantas Canberra Cup Day. Good crowd building. A little bit on the cool side, but the skies are clearing. Now, waiting on Manda Warrior to move along, and we'll have a start. Canny Lady stands up. Constant Opera, Opera Fair. Moranti in the all gold. Now here's Mandawara going up. So they're all in now. They're under starter's orders. Race one, Canberra Cup Day. Qantas Canberra Cup Day, 2001. Light is on. Gates open, a good level start. Islander went back to the tail of the field with fire at will. Brave running is showing speed with Opera Fair. Out wide, Sequoia followed by Canny Lady. Moranti in the all gold getting up along the inside. Columna Star not far away. Further back behind those, Beat the Tide followed then by down on the inside rail was Shepherd's Little Kuiperina between runners. Well back Islander. Fire at will followed by No Mirage Mandawara and Constant Opera last of all. Settling full into stride as they work off the back and race down the side. Canny Lady leads the length in front of Opera Fair followed by Brave running third. Running fourth with a beautiful run there, Moranti followed by Sequoia, Columna Star. Further back behind those, racing down with about 600 to go. Kuiperina followed by Shepherd's Lil, beat the tide on the outside. A fair break behind those, Islander down on the inside there of Mandawara. Fire at will, well back, followed by No Mirage. And Constant Opera last of all. As they race up towards the home turn, Canny Lady down on the inside is taken on by Opera Fair. Back behind those, Moranti angling for a run, followed by Brave running. Then Shepherd's Lil back behind those running on fairly well. Sequoia followed then by Kuiperina and Columna Star and beat the tide as wide out. We're racing down with about 250 metres to go. Opera Fair battling it out, but here's Moranti coming quickly and also beat the tide on the outside. It's Moranti the leader, beat the tide's the danger. Beat the tide swept the lead with about 75 to go and beat the tide races away for a very impressive win. Beat the tide first, Moranti second, Sequoia third, followed by Kuiperina, then Islander fire at will followed by Mandawara then columnist star back behind those canny ladies shepherds lil brave running opera fair columnist star back behind those well in the field then came constant opera and the last one was no mirage now 12 15 and 20 the placings in the opening event at canberra beat the tide 1875 even defeated moranti to even and sequoia 730 was third heading to the gates at benalla alf's numbers 1200. 
racing. Senor Skase from the inside, a touch slow towards the inner. Chesapeake Bay began fast with Papa's Dream. Dane Famous not far away. And Catechism out wide is going forward as well. As they complete 200 metres, Papa's Dream with Catechism. They lead with Lena for luck third on the inside. They were followed by Senor Skase, who's driven up along the inside to be a clear fourth from I Declare. Then Chesapeake Bay in sixth from Dane Famous. It's our boy along the inside at the 750. Two lengths, Bonnie Vino, followed by Flower Girl. Next along the inside was Shara Zero. Towards the back of the field was Kuda. It's got two behind it now. Shara Zero, one of them. And at the back of the field was Blue Dusk as they come to the corner. Papa's Dream at the 500 metre mark. Leads by a neck. Two on the outside, Catechism. Two further back, Lena for luck, followed by Senor Skaseling on the inside from I Declare, then Dane Famous. Further back, Chesapeake Bay, about three off the lead as they come to the corner. And Kuda's starting a move around the outside. It's the widest runner. Catechism into the straight, just the leader from Papa's Luck. Lena for luck, though, moving up on the outside and down the outside, Cooter with Chesapeake Bay. Lena for luck hits the front, but Cooter's in hot pursuit from Chesapeake Bay. Lena for luck, the leader, a half. Cooter, Lena for luck's finding enough. Cooter won't get it. Lena for luck won the first. Photo second, possibly Cooter though, from Chesapeake Bay. They were followed by Catechism, who fought on OK. Then came Senor Skase from I Declare, Dane Famous, Bonnie Vino. It's our boy. Then came Shirazaro towards the back, Flower Girl from Papa's Luck, and Blue Dusk was one of the last in. Lena for Luck, number 16. The second emergency for Terry Jones and Gay Waterhouse takes out the race. Of course, in the Belle du Jour colours, Lena for luck, 10, 20 and 250. Photo for the Miners, two's got that Cuda. And third, number 10, Chesapeake Bay, 16, 2, 10, 1. 16, 2, 10 and 1. After the running of the first, in a time of 1, 11, 91. 1, 11, 91. Good effort. Cuda was in hot pursuit with 150 metres to go. Couldn't quite pick it up and Chesapeake Bay has fought on OK as we await on the dividends to come through after the running of the first race. And we're going to hold all tickets too after the first. Hold all tickets after the opener here at Wyong. No totes coming through as yet. 16, 2, 10, 1, 4, 7, 5, 3 quarters by a nose. Thanks, Maddie. 16, 2 and 10 placings in the opening event at Wyong. And I believe hold all tickets on the opening event on the program, Quinella 1180, Trifecta paid $107.80, 16, 2 and 10 placings in the first event. Now let's have a look at the approximates on the second at Benalla, 15, 9 and 7 placings there, 1880 Quinella, Trifecta paid $525. Launceston, our next port of call, race number two on the card. And here's your update. It's due in five minutes' time. A maiden plate over 1,200. Where black lights at 21. El Doc at 9.20. Support for three. Happy Challenger. Now into $9.60. Seven even. Neat lines. Parawees at 39. Wind Force at 12. 3.70 for Cuvia Bay. Over two. Jamaican Money, 18. Prince Salem's at $8.10. Romo is at $9.40, 26 Mrs Cartwright and some cheer is at $13. They are moving in rather early here for the second event at Launceston. And they're... Actually, that's Swan Hill. We're on the wrong line there. OK, let's have a look at the uh, ratings for the second event at the Sunshine Coast. It's due to start in 14, where number six, Just Yell, is the top rater. Three points clear of one... Lord Larkspur, number four, Scooby Snacks, and number seven, Aqua Tie. Lord Larkspur at 14, Virgo's Mad. Welcome back. They're in the mountain yard at the Sunshine Coast. Now let's update the second at Launceston. Black Light 24, L Dock at 10, Happy Challenger 8, Neat Lines at 710, Parawee 23, 13, Wind Force, Cuvia Bay 380. Yes, that looks a bit more like Launceston. Jamaican Money at 14, 910, Prince Salem, Oromo at 970, Mrs Cartwright 27, and some cheers at $13. 
Now, here are the officials on the second event. Benalla, 15, 9 and 7 placings there. 1880 Quinella, trifecta, 525 ratings on the second Canberra, due in 16. Number 1, Ron Dean, top rater, hit of number 3, absolutely radiant. 13, Curvaceous Miss, and number 4, Dynamic. 1, 3, 13 and 4. They're moving up at Launceston. In the market here, 5 into the night at $2.70. Let's have a quick look over the page. Prominent ones in betting for the second. We've got Slav Way at eight dollars and sixty cents. Moving. Incidentally, Ian Craig will be along to call races three and four. Now, good mate, Ian Craig, along to call races three and four. Twelve hundred metres the journey. Big field again. Cavacious Miss, natural time, standing well. Just waiting on the light. Race two, Canberra, the light is on, they're racing. And Straight Sets was last out of the gates and showing a bit of speed was Charleston, followed then by Classic Dane. And bursting through, looking for the lead, was absolutely radiant, followed then by Cavacious Miss, running about third or fourth. Now, as they settle down and work off the back of the track and race down the side, absolutely radiant as the leader, followed then by Classic Dane. Edge of the Storm is running third, followed by Ron Dean. Down on the inside, Cavacious Miss, followed by Charleston going up wide. Then Slavway, further back behind those in the field. Uh, a long way back was straight sets. Now into the Knights back centre field down on the inside and a further break behind those dynamic followed then by natural time and the last one was Perry Can Do as they race up towards the home turn and the leader was absolutely radiant followed by Classic Dane who's going up two wide and three wide Rondine is running on down on the inside Cavacious Miss followed by into the night who's angling for a run behind that leading group followed then by Class Edge of the Storm and well back was dynamic followed further back then Slap Way. Halfway down the straight, absolutely radiant, taken on by Rondine. And now here comes Into the Night. Into the Night, the first starter raced up and swept the lead. And Into the Night races away for a most impressive win. He's down Into the Night. Now Edge of the Storm is second, followed by Rondine third. Slavway, Cavacious Miss Perry can do. Further back behind those then, Dynamic, followed by Classic Dane, absolutely radiant. A long break in the field, their natural time. And the last few across the line were Charleston, High society girl and uh, straight sets thanks tony five six and one placings in the second at canberra into the night very impressive 231 40 defeated edge of the storm and then number one rondine was third banana rate jolly garçon towards the center a little bit edgy in portrayed out wide stands okay set to run Gates are back, and they're racing. General Frisky towards the centre, a touch slow. Best to begin was the favourite, Rahira, towards the inside. It's going forward with Impa Trade. I'm so heroic is going forward as well. Lightning Loose isn't far away, and General Frisky's driving through towards the centre. Rahira, I'm so heroic, and General Frisky are up there with Lightning Loose, making a line of four along the rails. They uh, settle two links in front of Impa Trade, followed by Your Day and King Carrioy balances up on the inside. Then came Insane from Red Baroness, two links, Jalee Garcon, Lady Westbrook, followed by Gemma Way, Warrior, and two further back was Katrina. Rahira leads them at the 600 metre mark from General Frisky second. Two lengths lightning loose third on the inside of I'm So Heroic and then your day fifth around the outside three wide ridden up. Two lengths to Impetrate followed by King Carrioy. They were followed by Red Baroness out wide from Insane. Two lengths Jalee Garston, Lady Westbrook followed by Katrina Gemaway and Warriors last they come to the corner. Rahira with the rail leads by a length and a half. General Frisky moving up on the outside and Red Baroness down the outside. Rahira no good thing. General Frisky and Red Baroness go up to Swamp but Red Baroness in particular takes the front from Rahira, then General Frisky from I'm So Heroic, but Red Baroness pulls away and wins well. Red Baroness by two lengths Rahira, General Frisky third from I'm So Heroic and King Carrioy, then Jolly Garcon from Impetrate. Behind them Lightning Loose, and then Lady Westbrook and Insane from Your Day Katrina, Gem away at the back of the field, and the last one to clock in was Warrior. Too good. Number 13, Red Baroness. At 10.70 and 2.60, ahead of Rahira and General Frisky. We'll wait on that third number. In fact, there it goes, 13.13. 13.1 and 3. With fourth in the race, number seven, I'm so heroic. Well, the leader, Rahira, uh, the odds on favourite, of course, in the race. A few wanted to challenge it in the early stages, and uh, it was tackled in the straight, and they've been able to claim it. Around $10.70 for number 13, Red Baroness. The totes are slowly filtering through. Red Baroness too good for Max Lees and Daryl McClellan, four-year-old Bayamere by 
flying spur out of Scarlet Ribbons as Totes are through. 13 Red Baroness, 1070, 260. Rahira, 120. General Frisky at 970. The Quinellas paid 750. The Exacta, 2740. Trifecta, 548. Thanks, Matt. 13, 1 and 3 placings in the second at Wyong. 750 Quinella. Trifecta paid $548. Updating Launceston, race three, Evaporation 29, 11 for Just Different, Light Workout 33, Zum at 12, Beautiful Finish at 760. Offline 30, we've got Pure Stream at 44, Say Boo at 440, Shelley Sue 290 and Triple Stars at 25. Riding Changes Canberra, race three, number one, Bartos, John Nesbitt, race four, number seven, Magic Tycoon, Grant Buckley and race five, number 15, Sister Rose, Adrian Late. So there are some riding changes for you as we... Uh... Shelley Sue is the popular pick, all having their first start, of course, and uh, Shelley Sue from the John Morrissey Stable and by Mr Rumble. And John and Mr. Rumble have been a successful combination for a long, long time. Now, we're just about ready for action here at the 1,000 metres. Well, it's actually Ian here, Chris, so we're all set, ready to run. There's the red lights. They're off on the two-year-old. A good start. Evaporation jumped out well. Shelley Sue's up looking for the lead and Clever Shot is not far away. Sebu making ground. And so too is just different. A length and a half to light workout. Followed by Triple Star who's over on the inside. Bartos wider out and then Zum. Well back is beautiful finish. Followed by offline can sprint and pure streamers last of all. 600 out on the two-year-old and the favourite written by Larry Cassidy. Shelley Sue is the leader. About a half length on a evaporation. Bartos is working hard and not far away next is Clever Shot followed closely by Cebu and beautiful finish and Zum is the widest around the corner and coming down to the 300 and Shelley Sue the leader from Clever Shot. Cebu at a couple of lengths to Bartos and evaporation. It's Shelley Sue at the 200. Cassidy hands and heels on the outside. Cebu is a big danger and quickly Cebu driven to the lead and raced away with a winning lead and down to the line goes Cebu to win it well from a photo. Shelley Sue or Clever Shot. Followed home by Just Different and then Can Sprint. Good margin off next. Evaporation. Beautiful finish. Bar Toss. Triple Star. Pure Stream. And then came Zum. Offline has run second last. And light workout at the tail of the field. Sabu. Number 11. Ridden by Corey Brown for Barbara Joseph. Number 11, Sabu has been able to score. Second placing will go to number, what's well, a photo, but it'll be 12, Shelley Sue, yes. Number 12 is second. 11, 12, we've got that much out at Canberra for the third. Thanks for that, Ian. Sabu for 31, 70. We're just awaiting those full totes through. Full placings through on the third event on the card. Here they are, 11, 12 and 3. Third at the Sunshine Coast, 6, 10, 5 the placings, $23 Quinella. Trifecta, 201, 59, 17 the run. Now the third at Benalla. 1,000, they're set to run. Start amounts the platform, they're set. Stand by, they're racing. Miss Shaw towards the inside away. Well, Cadesti missed it by a couple of lengths. Unknown Road is going back to the tail of the field with that. And Reap the Harvest is back there as well. Star of Piermont going forward with Miss Shaw. Yeoman Bedell's up there and Magic of Rosie settles just behind them fourth. They were followed by Human Touch not far away and Gracie Jew around the outside. Spent the rent on the fence midfield. Two further back Lady Lux. They were followed by Reap the Harvest, a businesswoman. Two and a half Cadesti and five lengths away at the tail of the field was Unknown Road. It's Miss Shaw on the inside of Yeoman Bedell. They lead by a length and a half star of Piermont. Human touch with the white cap sliding around the field. Three wide spent the end fifth on the rail. Then Lady Lux from Magic of Rosie getting shuffled back. Then Gracie Jew Cadesti reap the harvest a businesswoman. Unknown road. They swing the corner. 200 to go. And into the straight they head and Human touches hit the front. Drawn away. Two links in front of Miss Shaw. Star of Piermont down the outside and Cadesti out late. But Human touch extends and has raced clear. Three links in front. It's going to stroll in. Human touch one well 
Cadesti finished the race off well for second. And third, Miss Shaw. They were followed further back by Spent the Rent-A-Good Effort first up fourth. Behind those out wider on the course, Reap the Harvest. Then came back in behind the magic of Rosie, a businesswoman, unknown road star of Piermont Lady Lux. Gracie Jew and Yeoman Bedell got tied. It was one of the last in. Won the winner. Human touch. Human touch at uh, 460 and 170, Cadesti 230, and third has gone to number five, Miss Shaw at $2.70. One, three, and five. Magic of Rosie has finished fourth, number nine, and fifth, number two, spent the rent. One, three, five, nine, and two, the race time. 59, one, eight, 35, 38 was the last 600 metres. So the number's one, three, five, nine. Four and three quarters, the winning margin, a comprehensive victory with a half between second and third, four and three quarters by half a length, and totes are through. Won the winner, Human Touch, 460 and 170, three Cadesti, 230, and third five, Miss Shaw, $2.70. The others. Well, it is Canberra Cup Day today, and uh, before the running of the next event, a short time ago, Chris Kearns, who was live trackside, he caught up with rider Matthew Carl. This is what uh, Matthew had to say to Chris. Matthew Carl has a nice set of rides here for the remainder of the day on Canberra Cup Day. Good to see you, Matthew. Nice to be here, Chris. Now, you're riding uh, one in the next race here, and it's called Oh She Said. What can you tell us about Oh She Said? Yeah, Chris, I rode a last start. She was first up here. She ran fourth in a probably not quite as hard a race, but it was a nice run. She should be improved fitness-wise, mm -hmm. and she's drawn nice. So I think she's an each-way chance, Chris, yeah. Bellows Senor, interesting ride for uh, the Victorian uh, Matthew Ellerton here in the, uh, in the Cup. Uh, very good horse on its day, can be a very erratic runner, but they tell me it's been down here for a week or so. Yeah, I spoke to Matthew this morning. Chris, he's, he's quite happy with the horse. He thinks he'll run well. He said he's a died in a wool stayer, and there should be a lot of speed in the race. So they cut the front runners in the race, so it should suit him. He should run well. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but he's a pretty erratic horse. You've, you've never ridden him before. First time on him today, Chris, yeah. 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 You better watch him. <laughs> oh, well, Chris, yeah. okay. The one in the last looks a big chance for Joe Cleary. Uh, Tata Tatiana. Yeah, very good feather. She's got a great record. I think she's had six starts and she's never been out of the place. And she's drawn one, so she looks very hard to beat, Chris, yeah. All right, Matthew, good luck, and uh, good luck in the cup later on. Thank you. Matthew Carl here with us on uh, Canberra Cup Day. Thanks, Chris. And uh, yes, Matthew's got some good mounts out at Canberra today. Let's have a look at uh, the update for the next at Benalla. The fifth event. At 56.70. So Spy King has one. Another possession's got second. And seven is third golden run. Four is fourth spirit of Norway. 2174 official now. 2 1. Yep, 2 1 7 4 here, 2 1 7 4. Spy King, Glenn Schofield for Ken Davis. Another possession, Ken Pope for Kay Trevor. Third is number seven, Golden Run, Jim Cook for Ian Gadsby. Fourth in number four, Spirit of Norway. 2 1 7 and 4. Spy King getting home in 58 and 22. Thanks for that, Paul. Let's have a look at the fourth at Canberra. Here's the, there's the updated market. And there is still two minutes of betting time remaining in the class three over 1,000 metres. That's the fourth at the Sunshine Coast. We've just seen that, two, one and seven, the placings there. As we update Benalla. Race five in the market, Super Harry 320, Jones Profit 5, Zeta Tour 430. Over two, egg for race four. Yes, uh, thank you Nadia. Race four today is the Acumen Alliance Class 3 handicap, 1,000 metres. And um, Cut It Out has firmed into on-track favouritism here. Bumped its hip on the way out of the uh, saddling enclosure and uh, passed as fit to run following a veterinary examination over at the starting point. Is resuming this afternoon, Cut It Out. Is trained by Barbara Joseph. Hasn't raced since finishing down the course in the Pago Pago to Red Hannigan. Uh, during the lead up to the Golden Slipper Carnival at, or um, well, the Golden Slipper meeting at Rose Hill, cut it out. Corey Brown riding for Barbara, and uh, Corey rode the previous winner, Say Boo, number 11 for Barb Joseph. Now, over here at the 1,000 metres, the uh, line is gradually filling. Magic Tycoon is coming up now. We're waiting for Greedy Pete and Electricity to come up, but also Illustrated. OK, only about four to move in. Cut it out. Popular pick here. Sabu winning the previous. 
Right, thank you, Mark. Cut it out running favourite here, and we've only got electricity to move in. Now, electricity is the only one away. This is race four on Canberra Cup Day. And in the familiar Gundaroo stud syndicate colours, the electricity walks in. Waiting for the red light. There it is. I'll soon be off. Racing this time. Cut it out, jumped very quickly from an outside alley. Lucky Gwen is going fast. Southern Ace is driving up towards the lead and not far back is dumbfounded. Baywatch, Bayband, the Lioness are not far away. Followed by Illustrated, oh, she said. Magic Tycoon, a couple of lengths then to Electricity and then reduced. A good margin away to Cocktail Hour, followed by Rapid Lass. And at the head of the others over on the inside, as they come up to approach the home corner, Greedy Pete nearing the bend now. Jewel Attractions raced up into third spot, but it's Lucky Gwen the leader around the corner 400 to go Lucky Gwen about a length and a half on dual attraction going up on the inside and now getting a split dumbfounded followed by Baywatch Babe and oh she said Magic Tycoon and cut it out heads the others at the 200 marker Lucky Gwen taken on by dumbfounded oh she said in third spot and then electricity but dumbfounded raced away and uh, there are no dangers to dumbfounded dumbfounded beat oh she said and electricity got third Lucky Gwen was fourth and and then cut it out, Rebel Duel, Magic Tycoon, Illustrated, Jewel Attraction, Southern Ace, Rapid Lass, Reduce, Greedy Pete, Baywatch Babe, Cocktail Hour, and the Lioness drop right out to finish at the tail of the field. Thanks, Ian. And before dumbfounded, 860-290, defeated Oshi Said and Electricity. Now Benalla, race five, is due in three. Gates are back and they're racing. Newcastle Knight was away fairly. The best to begin clearly was Nanjiang Lane. It's going forward with credentials along the inside and Yellow Diamond's going to settle just in behind them. Ty win fourth. And they were followed by Springlock fifth. Two further back Newcastle Knight on the inside of Pay on Demand and two lengths away to Covina. They complete 400 metres and credentials drove up along the inside to lead by half a length Yellow Diamond. Ty win third and off the track around the outside now Nanjiang Lane. Springlock on the inside. Two further back Newcastle Knight. Back in the field was pay on demand and two links to Covina. They come around the home corner at the 350 metre mark. It's Yellow Diamond on the outside of credentials together. Tie win third, Springlock fourth. Then came Newcastle Knight who's about to hook out on the outside from Covina behind them from Nanjiang Lane. Yellow Diamond hit the front from getting up along the inside. Springlock tie win and Newcastle Knight making a line of four. Yellow Diamond the leader though. It's kicking strongly from Springlock. Tie win late. Yellow Diamond lasts. Just one. Yellow Diamond from Ty Win and Springlock. Newcastle Knight was fourth. Then Pay on Demand. Further back in the field, Nanjiang Lane, who was one of the last with Kavina along the inside and credentials. 58 1 3 the race time. 58 13. At number four, Yellow Diamond, I'd say, has just won it. It's held on to score. It has. It's official now for Yellow Diamond. There's one from number three, Ty Win. And third goes to number nine, Springlock, 439. Fourth to number one, Newcastle Knight. So there are the numbers, 439 and 1, 58, 1, 3, the race time. LR Diamond definitely down in class today. Of course, uh, ran into past time, as I mentioned before the race. Was a good to class six winner at Tamworth, though, two starts ago. It's taken the race out by a short head with uh, a half length between second and third. A short head by half a length. Yellow Diamond too good for Ty Win and Springlock, who ran an improved race today. 4 3 and 9 with 1 fourth Newcastle Knight. Totes are through. For the winner, Yellow Diamond, 3 20 and 1 30. 3 Ty Win, 1 90. 9 third Springlock at 5 50. Quinella's paid $14.30. The Exactor, $22.80. Trifecta, 4 3 and 9, $307.60. First four, four, three, nine and one, one thousand and twenty-nine dollars and ten cents.